When using Perspective Plotter for camera placement, getting the control points in the right place are a big part of the puzzle, but not the only one. Control points determine the camera's focal length and orientation, but cannot tell you the size of your scene. Your camera needs to be placed at the right distance from the centre so that your scene has the correct scale. Here we have an image with some nice clear perspective lines, but no idea of the relative scale of the scene. By default, we can control how far the camera is from the centre using the camera distance parameter, which is fine, but we can do better. First we'll need a good reference edge, something we can use to determine the scale and position of the camera. Oh look, by sheer coincidence the corner edge of the centre table is good for this. This is because we have a good clear view of the edge, which is parallel to one of the perspective lines. In this case, the z-axis. We also need to have a good idea of the length of this edge. Googling standard table heights, let's go with 0.7 metres. You may have a more accurate measurement. To begin, let's change the default cube to match this reference distance so we can start modelling the table. With the cube selected, go to the Item tab on the right-hand side of the viewport. Press N if you cannot see it. Change all the X, Y and Z dimensions of the cube to 0.7 to resize it. Whilst we're here, let's also move the cube so that its bottom corner edge is touching the middle of the scene. Under Location, set all three properties to half the dimensions, to 0.35 metres. You should see the cube move so its corner is touching the middle of the scene. Why did we do that? Well, in the camera view you'll see a white dot in the middle of the viewport when Perspective Plotter is active. This represents the centre of your scene. Hover over the dot and click and drag it to the bottom edge of the table. You may want to change the wireframe mode to do this. Here we have aligned the bottom corner of the cube and the centre of the scene with the bottom corner of the table. Cool! However, although the cube is in the right place, it is too small compared to the tabletop, even though it is at the right scale. This is where the reference distance controls come in. On the Perspective Plotter panel, switch the reference distance to a long z-axis. A blue line will appear that represents a 1 metre length drawn from the middle of the scene going towards the z-axis vanishing point. It's a little too tall here and you might be able to see the end of the blue line by scrolling out of the viewport, but if not, click the line icon next to the reference length parameter to control the end point manually. Reduce the B end so that it is inside the viewport. You can then click and drag the ends of the blue reference line in the view. Move the reference line's end so that it matches the top of the table. We're almost there, but the blue line is still too tall compared to the cube. This is because the reference length of the blue line is set to 1 metre, not 0.7 metres. Change the reference length by clicking on it and typing 0.7. Now, the blue line represents 0.7 metres in your scene, which is the same height as your cube. We've now got the camera to match the size of your scene, as the cube occupies the same space as the table. <laughs> Hooray! Let's do a little modelling to test it. With the cube selected, press Tab to go into Edit Mode and make sure you are in Face Edit Mode by pressing 3 on your main keyboard. Select the right hand face and press G and then X to move the face along the X axis. Now select the back face and press G and then Y to move the back of the cube to the other end of the table. Looking good. Let's say we wanted to start modelling the window. Press the number 2 on your keyboard to go into Edge Edit Mode and select one of the bottom of the edges of the cube that would be parallel to the window edge. Press Shift D to duplicate this edge and P to separate it from the table object by clicking on Selection. Press Tab to exit Edit Mode. Select the new edge and then press G and Shift Z to move the edge in the XY plane. Move the edge to one side of the window. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode and press the number 1 on your keyboard to go into Vertex Edit Mode. 
Move the one vertex along to the other side of the window by selecting it and pressing G and then X. Now press the number 2 on your keyboard to go into Edge Edit Mode and then select the edge. Press E and then Z to extrude the edge upwards to the top of the window. <laughs> That's enough modelling for today. We're sure you can take it a lot further. We hope you'll see that the objects not only match your perspective, but also your scene scale. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch, either via Blender Market or by emailing info at configurate.net. Happy plotting!